Hi Aries, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. These messages are general, so they may or may not resonate with everyone watching. If it doesn't resonate with you, you can always check your other placements to see what else comes up. Okay. So we have trust already, which is the Fool card. This tells me that some of you are about to start something new. We have Heal and Master. Some of you are healing that heart chakra, as you see. This is like a heart chakra type card. And it's speaking of healing and a new beginning. So some of you, you've either gone through the healing and you're embarking on a new journey or you're about to go through the healing. But I see a new beginning for sure, 100%. A whole new beginning. Let me see what we got here for Aries. What's going on with Aries in their love life? What's going on with Aries in love? Okay. We have underneath all the mess. Past life relationship. You've known each other before. Okay. We have a lot. We have released your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Some of you, the situation involves marriage. We have trust chemistry. This could be the one. Wow. I'm, I usually don't like when so many cards come out at once, but I see like these three being the two separate chapters in your life. One is that one is the end with a karmic situation that was going on that may have caused you pain that you now have to heal from or have healed from over time. And here we've got trust again. See? Trust twice, right? With chemistry, and this could be the one. So it's it's literally like two different versions of you, two different chapters in your life, the past and the future, okay? So some of you may have already met the person because it says this could be the one you've already met, the, rom the romantic partner you seek. Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here and the situation is calling for you to have faith. So if you met someone recently, you have faith in that person. It looks really good. Some of you haven't met this person yet. You know, it could be a current person though. And it doesn't have to mean that you just met them, but some of you, you could be in a situation or relationship, but there is someone from your past that is still kind of affecting your energy, meaning you haven't healed from the pain that that person caused in the past. Okay. And we have codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. So that connects with heal for me. This is about healing those toxic energies from past relationships or even childhood. Um, it doesn't have to mean actual addiction as in substance, but it could very well mean the pain that you've gone through. So let me see the person that Aries has in mind person that Aries has in mind okay we've got the high priestess could be a Scorpio for some of you that you are dealing with but this is all about intuition and your higher self and when you are going through a healing process this is an important part of it connecting with your higher self okay so Aries is person what's their energy towards Aries person Aries has in mind what's their energy towards Aries what is their energy towards Aries? Okay, we have the moon. Some of you, this person, they are very mysterious when it comes to their energy towards you or even their feelings. There is someone who has hidden feelings for you. This is someone who may have walked away from you some time ago or recently. They have hidden feelings for you because we got the Hierophant. But we got the moon. They could be Cancer, Pisces. Um, their feelings seem very hidden. Their 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 energy towards you. It's like it's I'm getting the vibe of someone who's pretending that you don't pretending or wanting you to think that they that you don't even exist to them. Like they want they want like they're completely over you. 
and all of that so this card here release your ex because i'm being drawn to it now it could be, very well be them who can't release you because i see them having some type of secret energy towards you they have you on their mind you know but i get the vibe that they don't want you to know this you know maybe because of pride maybe ego What's Aries' energy towards the person they have in mind? The person they want to hear about? What's their energy towards this person going forward? Currently, is their energy towards this person? Okay. So are you still? Yep. Some of you are ignoring that person who, like, you're probably, probably not even in contact with them, not really even giving them any of your energy. Um... Because some of you are focused on the current person who's in your life. So it's like this is the current person and there's someone in the background who may have took you for granted, thought they were too good, acted like they were too good. And now they secretly have feelings for you and they can't even say it because of this whole image that they were portraying for so long. And we have this Eight of Swords. Some of you, I feel like this has to do with the fact that there's two trust cards here and some of you are having a hard time trusting a current situation. I feel like it has to do with the situations you've dealt with in the past because the codependency is affecting your love life. So it's like you need to heal in order to feel more comfortable trusting this new situation or any new relationship that comes into your life. Oh my gosh, really? Okay, Aries, energy of this connection, energy of Aries current connection, why is this happening? <laughs> What's the energy of Aries current situation, relationship, current connection, going forward, what's the energy of this? Page of Cups, Page of Swords, wow, this is so true because here you go you know you're open to love but then you still got that page of swords energy where you are still guarded <laughs> you know you're still not trusting a hundred percent i feel like you want to but i'm hearing for some of you this this reminds you of how good things were in the beginning in your last relationship so you don't know if you should trust it could turn out to be the same you know some of you are not trusting, you're not trusting. And we got this inner conflict going on. And some of you may have some conflict with someone from the past. Even if it's not in the physical, you could be still cussing someone out in the past. No, you could still be cussing someone out from the past in your mind. <laughs> okay. Um, let me look at your spread and see what comes up for you. So Aries, what's going on with Aries in love? What can they expect in their love life? What can Aries expect in love going forward? Queen of Wands, this is you. But it's Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. Page of Wands, more fire energy. Some of you may be connecting with a fire sign. What's going on with Aries in love? Okay. So we got Leo energy, Libra energy. But you, you're having to... to really draw for that inner strength i feel like you're definitely going through the healing We've got aries energy fellow aries could be dealing with a fellow aries or they could be the one from the past so could the leo or the libra but you know so there's someone who has this king of swords energy right now they are they could be the one who is playing hard to get or can't release you because they're trying to appear very strong and very um emotionless like they're trying to act like you know they're unaffected and this and that but they have a lot of passion towards you 
you light their fire for some of you they're still very much attracted to you especially if you're both fire signs i don't know why i'm getting that but there's a strong attraction and they're seeing you as the emperor so they're seeing you as you as an aries because this is the aries card i feel like there's a person who feels like you have overpowered them in some way like you've overcome them you've overpowered them you are in control you've won you know i don't know why this is picking up on the past what looks like the past person for some of you it could be the current person or someone you're separated from but here we have the eight of cups so there is emotional distance between you and this person who's showing up um, there's also the three of swords is what's blocking which is speaking of a lot of pain and sadness so some of you yes healing is what you need to do i know some of you are in the middle of healing like in the process um this is just letting you know that there's more healing to be done you know because if pain is what's blocking you <clears throat> then you have to focus more on healing and that's why you have the strength card because some of you are realizing that you're stronger than you thought you're definitely becoming stronger every day with the healing some of you are still <clears throat> attracted to this person keep in mind i don't really know who this is for you for some of you it could be the current person some of you it could be a past person but some of you are still attracted to this person and your feelings for them are still there um with the empress because this is a warm and nurturing and loving card and if this is how you feel about this person then that's just it you know some of you may still be in love with them or this could be your feelings for somebody new but i do I, you're someone who you're separated from seems to have shown up here because i feel like this person is is putting on a mask of of unaffectedness you know they have somewhat of an ego and some pride going on where they don't want to show any weakness um maybe they see you as a strong person and they don't want to feel like you're little um they don't they they don't want to feel like a they don't want to feel puny okay you're seeing them as the nine of cups why am i saying nine of cups nine of pentacles and some of you are seeing this person as single like i feel like they've really done a good job at portraying to you that they're that they're single they're happy being single they're unbothered and this and that because that's how you're seeing them and that's the the mask that i see them wearing because remember when the moon card came up and i was telling you they have hidden feelings for you they are hiding there's someone who's hiding feelings from you um and it's a pride thing your outcome is the ten of swords i see some of you putting an end to a relationship that wasn't working for you so this could be someone who came along before the person you're dating now and you still have feelings for them but you finally put it to rest whatever the situation is there's something that you're putting to rest um and you're focusing on the healing because you're going to have a whole new beginning as i said before the fool card the trust card it's like there's a whole new start for you but let me see what's going on here um let me look at this person because they seem to be hiding why the king of swords why the king of swords the empress yeah in reverse they've got some insecurities okay this king of swords image that they are portraying this tough exterior is because they're hiding these insecurities for some of you i feel like they 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 just felt that you were too powerful for them to, or too good for them because the way they're seeing you as the emperor they're definitely threatened by your energy this person here we have the page of swords five of cups in reverse so they have this this defensiveness as well some of you may be defensive about a new love this person from the past or whoever you're separated from is defensive towards you because of their insecurities and em empress in reverse it could be a libra for some of you still love libra energy but we have the five of cups in reverse this is their way of not um acknowledging their pain and some of you 
seeing as the five of cups is here in reverse it could be someone who does drink or have some kind of problem um some kind of addiction but i don't feel like that's for a lot of you i feel like this person's really trying to avoid facing their own emotions why the queen of wands oh my gosh remember when i was talking about the queen of wands and saying that this person's really passionate about you they're still highly attracted to you especially if you're a fire sign couple or even if they just have fire in their chart well the devil is here to confirm their obsession with you um, they could be a capricorn but i'm seeing that they can't they can't let go because one attraction physical attraction two they're kind of stuck in that mental it's like their insecurities make them want to hold on or maybe they feel like their ego has been bruised because they lost you or because you're not trying to get back with them so they start to obsess and wonder why you're not trying to get back with them or why they haven't heard from you they're, they're, they're in this obsessive mode right now because i feel their their ego their pride has been damaged and they're really trying to hide this 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 damage to their ego and pride from you they're trying to oh man this this person is so hilarious to me they're hilarious to me the way the way how they're hiding from you and some of you the, the thing is they have you convinced that this is true that they that they're doing their own thing living their own life being carefree because that's how this is how you're seeing them but that's not what i'm seeing because they got the devil card um when it comes when it's surrounding their feelings towards you which means they haven't let go look at this they haven't let go of you it's a front all right let me see why this empress why this empress i want to see why the emperor as well oh boy some of you I, f I feel like you are attracted to this person still you still have there's still feelings there some of you this this person could be um the one that you move forward with but i don't know how that's gonna happen when they're in such a what do you call it self-destructive energy where they're, they're beating themselves up about you know losing this connection and trying not to show how they feel i'm not sure for a lot of you if it's the one but it could be for some of you a new a new person is the one some of you it could be this person especially now that i'm seeing the eight of cups in reverse which means returning to someone you still have feelings for because remember we have the eight of cups here there's there's separation some of you might be returning to this person okay i don't think that they're a terrible person i'm just saying that they're very in denial lying to themselves and trying to convince you that they're unbothered it's like they have this big um ego pride as i keep saying but it's like it's like they really Oh my God, how do I put it? They they don't want to, they just don't want to show that weakness. You know, they don't want to show that weakness. And some of you, with the ten of swords being here, some of you are just gonna get fed up. Some of you are going might go back, but some of you might just get fed up and end it, and just say, you know what, I'm gonna heal and move on because I deserve better. You know, because waiting for someone to get out of this little self pity party is just boring because now you're alone and you don't want to be you want some fun in your life you know so why why are they seeing aries as the emperor why are they seeing aries as the emperor oh magician you see the magician is also powerful hermits they're seeing you as this deep person very wise okay you could be dealing with a virgo but they're seeing you as this deep version version <laughs> deep person who's very wise and very powerful with this magician being here especially with the emperor and the ten of pentacles and the ten of pentacles is here twice so i don't know if some of you are very successful or you have a lot of money but they're kind of seeing this as you know that you're above them in some way that you're 
you know that you've made it and maybe they haven't become as, as successful as you or you know they feel a little bit intimidated i feel like this is someone who's easily intimidated because of their insecurities they don't really look at the good in themselves they kind of focus on what other people are doing some of you your person isn't doesn't have that trait in a major way but sometimes they can have self-doubt why the strength card why is strength here you already know some of you are some of you are going to be partying with friends or just reconnecting with people enjoying your life um we have the lovers in reverse so it's like going through a breakup or going through a separation but still being able to be in that three of cups energy where you are just where you let down your hair and you and you you know how to handle your stress you know you're not letting it take over why the ten of swords ten of swords aries why is this the outcome page of cups yep some of you are not um some of you are not giving this person another chance i see some of you are but some of you <clears throat> are not because the page of cups is in reverse but now we have the four of wands and the sun so it's like some of you may before you completely end it with this person you might meet someone new and realize oh my gosh <laughs> i want to move on to this person you know like you some of you might find someone new that just kind of makes you say okay forget the past because it's a waste of time and the new person looks more promising but some of you i see giving this person another chance and i feel like it depends on how severe their insecurities are like how like if they're just like narcissistic and just beyond insecure and horrible then i do see a lot of you moving on from that because i see it's more of you getting fed up and seeing other options being better but if it's just someone who has you know a little bit of they're a little bit intimidated and they're just in that vibe at the moment but it's not their true personality i see that one working out for some of you but it's really up to you because i i don't see them walking away from aries i see aries walking away from them so it's really up to you we have peaceful resolution we have if you believe Meditation brings answers and abundance. So I feel like that abundance connects with these two Ten of Pentacle cards here. Because some of you, even if you don't have a lot of money, just you could be abundant in beauty, um, talent. Like you could just have a lot that kind of intimidates people, you know. Um, but we have if you believe in meditation brings answers. So whichever is whatever you want to believe do you want to believe that this relationship can work or do you want to believe that there is someone better out there for you but all i know is that this person is really really hiding their true feelings as you saw with the moon card earlier very hidden and it's all because they they don't want to show the weakness they want to be respected they don't want to be seen as weak. They could be a Gemini, Leo, Libra, Capricorn, Taurus. Got more Leo energy here. And even fellow Aries. But we have the King. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And those are the main signs. Those are the signs that are coming through. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius so aries this is what i'm seeing for you trust and focus on healing and you will make the right decision because as you saw with the high priestess that will open up your intuition and it will make you just feel what the right decision is instead of being indecisive or trying to make decision the decision you'll feel the right one okay 
So check your other placements if this didn't quite resonate. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.